what are the non monetary investments which are very important in life uh, and when i'm making this uh, statement i'm uh, reminded of an article i read in uh, i think uh, get rich slowly long long ago and uh, uh, some of these things uh, just chuck home one is uh, invest in yourself so when you are investing in yourself you have to invest in uh, in your health there is absolutely no denying that the investment in health has a fantastic roi so whether it is going to the gym investing in going to a good dietitian and improving your diet investing in a trainer i'm classifying all of this under invest in yourself this is very important whether you start at uh, 22 or at 32 or at 42 uh, don't think it is too late and i can't do it so just start whenever you get up you uh, you just start like they say in hindi jab jago sab savera when you wake up it is sun- it is sunrise right so if you have been sleeping for too long about your health uh, it's uh, it's time you woke up so investing in your health is a very important thing investing in yourself in a uh, matter of uh, forgiving yourself uh, you made some mistakes some mistakes in the past which uh, you are not able to forgive yourself i have seen men uh, perhaps there are many women also i have not seen many women of that type but I, in the sense that women don't talk to me about this kind of stuff i have seen many men who have had a bad marriage because of their own behavior maybe so they blame themselves for what happened i've seen a woman who had uh, lost a lot of money in fndo and who could never forgive herself for what happened yes it was a big sum of money but it was something which her husband could afford but then it lead, led to marital uh, problems of uh, wife bashing etc so forgive yourself yes past mistakes have happened you have lost your wife you have lost your child i mean you have lost custody um the do- your children have been told that you are a bad guy whatever it is they don't want to keep in touch with you are these things bad yes these things are bad these are terrible but you have to invest in yourself by saying okay i forgive myself there is nothing you can do and the other person doesn't really care whether you hold a grudge or don't hold a grudge so investing in yourself yes of course investing in physical health investing in mental health is are all important so just stand up open the window and tell yourself i forgive myself i forgive my wife i forgive my daughter uh, they don't want to be in touch with me it is very difficult it is not easy for a person who has got one kid and that kid is completely lost you know that kid is not going to come back to you um, maybe at your funeral uh, she will stand there uh, sobbing Uh, saying she got a bad father but that these things happen and these things have to be you it's not easy to move on but moving on is necessary if you want to continue your life right so why did you lose your kid you lose lost your kid because of alcoholism is that bad yes of course it is bad you had you were an alcoholic you had a, a liver problem maybe maybe your wife left you maybe your children don't want to see your face maybe only one child and the child does not want to see you all these are bad things but for not forgiving yourself is perhaps the worst in this so <clears throat> see what you have uh, what you are unwilling to forgive yourself for and uh, uh, what is influencing this unwillingness you have to come over that because if you don't overcome uh, this uh, and this problem is very difficult to uh, get your life right so uh, yes investing in health is important investing in mental health is also important M- could be many reasons i know people who just can't forgive themselves maybe they are 85 years of age or 86 years of age they just can't forgive themselves they somehow think that they uh, got more than what they deserved and they don't deserve it and they kill themselves saying oh i sh- i could have done this better i could have uh, rendered this service better or whatever i've seen such people and these are the worst people in terms of uh what is happening in their life invest in education again education has a very high roi even if uh, it's your daughter or son wanting to go abroad and do an mba how much does it cost well in 2024 prices uh, <coughs> something upwards of 2 crores and something uh, south of 2.25 crores maybe 2.25 crores is what it will cost is the roi good yes the roi is good should you send your daughter or son abroad maybe yes but maybe uh, they should be borrowing and you should be giving a guarantee because it's a loan which they have taken right so <clears throat> invest in education even if it means taking a loan and studying 
right it does not mean that uh, every education you need to take a loan if it's 10 lakhs and 15 lakhs and you can afford it it's different similarly if you have 20 crores paying 2 crores for your child's education is okay but if you have 4 crores maybe you need 3.8 crores for your own retirement then it makes sense to give your daughter or son 20 lakhs and say this is what I can contribute and the balance has to be paid by the bank which you will repay right so something like that so investing in education investing in your own education investing in your uh, uh, children's education is useful investing uh, investing in social contacts right so with friends relatives cousins classmates uh, not all uh, classmates become friends not all colleagues become friends not all cousins become friends so creating your own circle of friends maybe with whom you travel you sing you dance you smoke you drink you eat whatever whatever you do with them investing in these social uh, circles uh, what would i what you would call is very important and some of these relationships will end you left an office uh, and maybe there were 30 people there maybe 15 you consider to be good friends but uh, 5 fell off so you are left with 10 or 10 fell off you are left with 5 there is no time to have any regrets because the commonality was that company that boss what that company did etc 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 so once that is lost the commonality is lost then not everybody becomes a friend because there is no, perhaps no common topics similarly you could be in a running group in a cycling group in a gymming group in a swimming group in a group which uh, meets because uh, your chip uh, because your children go to the same school same class so you meet at the parent teachers meet and you become very good friends you don't become friends with everybody maybe with five people six people some of these relationships will end understanding that these relationships will end is very important not all relationships you carry to the grave not everything is for a lifetime some are for a season some are for i think it's an english poem uh, who says some are for a season some are for a reason uh, and some are for lifetime right if you go let's say you're traveling uh, to a safari lion safari or a tiger safari for seven days you meet somebody you hit off very well you talk to that person and after seven days you promise that you will keep in touch and you don't or you go and stay in a resort where you meet the owner or you meet the manager you hit off very well but then you don't keep in touch it's okay these are all relationships which are let's say formal <coughs> they'll come they'll go but don't worry too much about some of these relationships ending of course these relationships will end so investing in other people in you could even be investing in your uh, in the people who are helping you around in the house somebody who is doing your uh, cleaning and sweeping a housemaid you invest in their education in their upbringing in their children's education it's going to be a good thing because uh, you you never know who is going to help you in your old age right so investing in relationships investing in your children's education investing in your children's life all that is important but so is investing with the people who are working with you right so all that is important the return on all these investments is uh, for a, over a lifetime right so physical health mental health uh, investing in the relationships investing in friends investing in uh, uh, experiences for for your travel the same set of friends with whom you are maybe school friends college friends office friends colleagues cycling group running group music group swimming group you pick up a few and you start a travel group right if you like travel uh, well if you don't like travel then there are other things to do maybe so investing in experiences with those people because uh, when you invest in an experience uh, recently I met my school friends and we spoke about a trip which uh, two of us had made not the others in the group had made and uh, we spoke about how great the trip was so some of these uh, experiences have a very good ROI because you keep talking about it again and again so the uh, very uh, thought that you're going to plan you're going to call these people they're going to sign up they're going to make the payment you're going to book the hotel that whole uh, experience of uh, the planning the travel that's fun then you actually go and travel then you carry home experiences then you share it with other friends definitely a fantastic ROI on uh, friends relationship and uh, experiences uh, again investing uh, now after all this uh, you will come to investing in the market on that I have uh, 3000 videos right so I am not talking about investing in the market but investing in all these things is going to be very useful and very necessary by, for the, uh, with the returns that you get from the market thank you